Hey guys, so I'm sitting in my car. I actually just parked um, and I'm about to go in to my first doctor's appointment for pregnancy number three. So we're gonna go in. I've done this two times before. <laughs> um, so I pretty much know what's gonna happen. They're gonna take my weight. They're gonna take my height. Um, I'm gonna meet this new doctor because like I said in my previous vlog, I am switching doctors just because the previous one just her schedule didn't work. I loved her but I'm sure this one will be great too. So um, I'm gonna meet her. We'll probably do an ultrasound. That's usually what they do is an ultrasound to make sure everything's on track. And then um, they'll schedule blood work. I'll get a couple tu tubes of blood pulled just to check my levels on whatever, I guess, iron and whatever else, red blood cells and white blood cells, I guess. And then um, I'll schedule my next appointment, which will be a month from now. So hopefully everything goes well. I've been feeling pretty nauseous. The Unisom and the B6 that I've been taking have been helping, except about every evening I get really, really nauseous. But usually throughout the day, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, we'll see how it is and hopefully everything goes okay. This is the first time I'm going to the first appointment without Anthony. With my first pregnancy and my second pregnancy, Anthony went with me to the first appointment, but this time they're still keeping COVID rules. And so you have to wear a mask, I think, and uh, they don't want you to bring any visitors. Can't bring kids, can't bring um, husbands or anything. So I'll see if that's still like for sure. Um, and hopefully like by the time I do the anatomy scan, he could come to it because it just feels weird going by myself, but I realize we're still in like a COVID world. So we'll see how it goes, but um, yeah, hopefully everything is great. So um, I'll go to my appointment and then when I come back, I will tell you guys how it went. Hey guys, so I'm back home in our new house. Um, finished with my appointment it actually went super fast i think for a first appointment i feel like it went pretty fast um so everything looks good i'll show you they printed off some pictures they always do which is so so nice so here it is i'm cropping out the top because i don't want you guys to see my personal information um but here is the little one don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet obviously it literally looks like a blob I think the head is here and then the bud is here, but I really don't know. <laughs> so yeah, everything looked good. Um, my new doctor is super nice. Um, just kind of gave her a rundown of my really normal pregnancies, but my last labor was like a whirlwind with Porter. She did the ultrasound, found the baby right away, and we saw the heartbeat, which was really good. I uh, didn't hear it though. And then um, the the baby was actually like wiggling around. We could see it on the ultrasound, which was really cool to see. Um, you don't think of a baby at like eight weeks old being able to like move that much, but it was moving around. So can't wait to find out if it's a boy or a girl. Hope it's a girl, but knowing our luck, it's probably a boy. So we'll see. Um, my due date is April 5th, which Grayson's due date was April 4th, but he didn't end up coming until the 11th. And I keep saying, I am determined that I'm gonna have this baby in March. <laughs> Everyone laughs at me because my last two pregnant, my only two pregnancies, I've gone past 40 weeks with both. <laughs> but this one I wanna have early because I want as much time between Grayson's birthday and this new baby's birthday. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it went well. Um, it was exactly like I thought it was going to be. I did the urine sample. I did, which I get to do those again. I do not miss doing those. Met the doctor, did the ultrasound. She told me my due date, gave me the pictures, and then I went and I had my blood drawn. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I got it on my arm. Um, they took a couple vials, all the normal things. They said I could do genetic testing if I wanted to, but um, our insurance doesn't pay for it and we have two normal kids so we're not doing that so they're just doing like the normal blood check stuff so all is well and then I scheduled another appointment for the end of September so all is good um, I'm gonna have to hide these pictures now because we're keeping the pregnancy a secret until Porter's birthday party when we can tell everybody at the same time so super exciting news i'm really happy that went well you never know you know when you go to the first appointment and they do that ultrasound like 
you could think you're pregnant and then like there's no baby or you know anything could happen but i've been pretty nauseous so i was pretty certain that there would be a baby and there was a baby so it's all good um i love my doctor's office i literally waited for like a minute <laughs> they gave me like all this paperwork to do uh, talking about like my previous pregnancies and i was trying to fill it out as fast as i could but they were getting me through it like so fast and i was still filling it out when my doctor came in and she was like oh you don't need to fill that out like we already have all your information so that was nice because i literally didn't even make it the first page <laughs> and there was like three pages they actually gave me a paper and it has like the list of like um, approved medications that you can use for different things, which I thought was actually really, really awesome. Um, let me find that paper because I didn't get that in my past two pregnancies. Okay, I'm looking now. So it's safe medications and vaccines in pregnancy. So it's allergies, cold, flu, and cough, constipation, diarrhea, headaches, aches and pains, uh, yeast infection, nausea, insomnia, hemorrhoids, heartburn, bat oh, and there's the vaccines, prescription medications, a whole list of them, um, and then other cortisone cream. That's good to know because I use cortisone. I think I use cortisone like for bug bites, <laughs> which I wouldn't think that would be bad, but I guess you just never know. So this is actually really, really nice to have. Like a lot of these I knew about, like you can only take Tylenol for headaches. You can't take Advil or ibuprofen, which stinks because I hate taking Tylenol. I just hate the Tylenol pills. I think they're harder to swallow. My favorite is ibuprofen, so that's annoying, but it is good to know for like cold, flu, and cough because I'm gonna go through the winter pregnant and I'm bound to get a, a cold or two, especially with Grayson going back to school. So it's good to know like I can have Tylenol cold and flu. I can have Vicks, Mucinex, some cough drops, like that's good. So this is actually very helpful and I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> if you guys had anything different with your third pregnancy compared to your first two, let me know. I asked my doctor if I need to like watch out for anything and she was like no it's the exact same so that's what i'm gonna plan on the exact same so hopefully it's just a smooth pregnancy hopefully this nausea goes away soon um i would have asked her for ideas which i guess i do have some on this sheet it says things to do for nausea and vomiting dramamine which i tried that with my last pregnancy and it didn't hardly do anything uh vitamin b6 emetrol not heard of that and Tegan. They don't have Unisom on there. Um, oh no, they have Unisom on there for insomnia. So I told my doctor I was taking B6 and Unisom and she said that was fine. So if it was worse, I would have asked her for something, but it's manageable. So I'm just gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm really happy. Um, I'm about to go wake up the boys. It's really nice because Grayson does quiet time and Porter still does one nap a day. So I can schedule appointments during nap time. Anthony's working from home. So it works out really nice, especially because I'm supposedly not allowed to bring kids. I forgot to ask if I could bring kids to doctor's appointments. I saw quite a few husbands there, which they said no visitors, like no other people. So curious, like, how that is but um i definitely hope i can bring anthony to the anatomy scan i don't i don't he's not been able to go to an anatomy scan yet with grayson he was working and then with porter it was COVID, and nobody was allowed to come so i'm hoping this year we can have it work out and maybe get out on this lunch break or something and he could come with me to go to the ultrasound because that would be really fun since he missed this first appointment but we'll see i mean that's I don't know, like four months down the line or something. So got to get there first, I guess. I'm just mumbling. I'm just rambling. I'm not mumbling. I'm rambling. Just word vomiting, I guess. I don't know. I'm just really excited. And I don't really have anybody to talk to about this stuff because, well, I mean, I could talk to Anthony, but like he's a boy. So it's like, I can't talk to like my mom or my sisters or my friends or anything because we're keeping it a secret. So I'm telling you guys even though you're a camera. <laughs> so anyway, um, oh, I also wanted to tell you guys, I found my SD card. It was in the diaper bag. 
I looked all over. I thought it was in my purse, thought it was in my suitcase. It was in the diaper bag. So that's good to know. I can start editing. I just need to find the time now to edit, but that is on my to-do list. So anyway, I, I don't know if I'm gonna film any more of today. I'm just gonna be hanging with the boys. It's super miserable outside. It's very, very hot and humid. So we're not gonna be going outside. Um, I think we're just